First, carefully remove all the components from the packaging. Install the landing gear and wing onto the airframe. Install the included AA batteries into the transmitter. Turn the transmitter on and make sure that the transmitter beeps and the red LED illuminates. Remove the battery door cover and install the flight battery into the back of the transmitter with the up decal facing away from the transmitter. Turn the transmitter over and make sure that the charge indicator LED is illuminated. The transmitter does not need to be on for the battery to charge. Once the charge indicator LED shuts off, the battery is charged. When installing the battery onto the plane, make sure that the two pieces of Velcro line up and the connector is located so that it is facing the tail of the plane. The NM Elite is equipped with an auto-linking feature. This means the transmitter will automatically link to the plane after they are turned on. Move the throttle stick all the way down and switch the transmitter power on. Connect the battery to the airplane. Once the transmitter is linked to the plane, the red LED on the receiver will stop blinking. For your first flight, I recommend that you do large ovals approximately 20 feet off the ground. Use small stick inputs until you get accustomed to how the plane is going to react. Check that the elevator, rudder, and throttle functions are working properly. The plane may require minor trim adjustments to the transmitter to keep it flying straight and level. Fly the plane at around half throttle and make any necessary adjustments. To adjust the elevator trim, use the right vertical trim button. If the plane wants to pitch down, give the trim button a few clicks down. If the plane wants to pitch up during flight, give the trim button a few clicks up. Adjust the trim as needed from there. If the plane pulls left during flight, give the rudder trim button a few clicks to the right. If the plane pulls right during flight, give the rudder trim button a few clicks to the left. Adjust the trim as needed from there. The NM Elite is equipped with dual rates that affect the elevator and rudder. If you would like to reduce the amount of throw for the elevator and rudder, you can move the dual rate switch to the up position. If you crash or damage the foam sections of the plane, you can easily repair them using foam safe CA glue, white glue, or clear tape. Replacement parts for the NM Elite are also available for purchase. If you are repairing a hinge, deflect the control surface away from the side you are applying the tape. 